Well, what's up, people? Dobbs Rules right here, and welcome to a Yu Gi Oh! pack opening. Today, we are opening up some miscellaneous stuff. So, stuff that I've actually completely neglected for the past few months. You guys should, I should have opened up quite a long time ago. So, we're opening up five booster packs of Amazing Defenders. We've got ourselves the first quarter of a century celebration structure deck that I have, which is the uh, Beware of Trap Tricks. I love this booster box, not opened it up yet fully so you guys can get my full review. And we get ourselves the Speed Jewel DX Duelist of the Shadows. So, yeah, why not? I might as well put it all in one video, can't we, people? Of course we can. <laughs> So first off, I'm going to go ahead and open up these amazing defenders. These came out in January. Holy crap, people, I've neglected this booster pack so much. Reason why? Because these are absolutely a terrible defenders. Because they are awful. They really are bad, people. Um, would not recommend buying any of this, people. It is a really, really bad, bad set. It's a waste of time. It's rubbish. So... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go through it all. There's some good staples though, I can, I can tell you that truthfully. But, nothing absolutely amazing, to be honest. Some people may like them, but we've got a super rare like right there, which is not too bad. The only card in this set that I actually really wanted was Piri Piri Res. I've already got three play sets of Piri Piri Res. So, I do not mind. A lot of people do want these though, the Rescue Ace cards, because these are actually quite useful right now. There's Piri Piri Res, lovely. And then another Infernal Noble Knights. And again, Infernal Noble Knights, you don't need these cards. They are rubbish, 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 rubbish. Why do you think I put it in the Miscellaneous Booster Pack opening? Because these do not need to be in a, in a standalone video, to be honest. Uh, and there we go. There's you got sort of a fire engine. That's not too bad. But again, standard super rare. As you guys know, in a boost box of this lot, which thank God I am not doing, you only get yourself around about three ultras, and then if you're lucky, you get yourself a collector's rare. And the collector's rare is the cards you want, but again, they're around about 30 to 40 pound easily, so it's not worth your time. And there you go, we get ourselves a sword, Mikako. Okay. And I'll sleeve up the rares later on because I am not bothered with them. So, of course, you guys know that these cards are not going to be absolutely extremely expensive, so whatever. Uh, yeah, Beauty is actually a not bad card. It's A lot of people actually are using them type of cards, but anything else, they're not really bothered with. So that's not too bad. We've got some super rares there, so I'm going to put them to the side. You guys know the gist of that. So let's have a look at the structure deck, the trap tricks. Let's crack it open, and let's see what it consists of. Um, I have people telling me that they, a, lot, a lot of people are buying, literally, when this box pack boost, they, when this structure deck first came out, it's got sold out instantly from everywhere, and I mean everywhere, everybody wanted it, main reason because you get Regeki in here, that's all I remember, and also evenly match, and phew, the neck people, that is insane, because evenly match is a super super useful card but again Regeki as well is a very useful card too because it's it's meta so yeah and I think as well there's Ash Blossom in here as well so let's have a look you know so you get yourself Traptix Pudicia Traptix Garden so that's the new um, field spell which a lot of people like using a lot uh, Traptomanzling Tune there's the new Traptix um, XE card, which is freaking strong, and I have faced it before, and it's not nice. Atsius and Kanoya. Super right evenly matched is worth quite a bit, I think. Traptix Holoti. And here are the commons, people. Literally, look at the commons. This is insane. Asterix, Malayo, Nemphius. Literally, every single Traptix card you need... And you get yourself a Kaiju, which is good. And the String Kaiju, and we tell you in C. And of course you get some plant cards, and there you go, you get yourself a Common Ash Blossom. And as you guys know, Common Charity is a thing, and this is going to fetch a quite a pretty penny. Rose Lover is good, some Deflora cards, some Mech Knight, some Artifacts, Fire Hand and Ice Hand, which is good. Plus Thunder, for a common Regeki, people, 
is freaking good. Common charity, this card is going to be expensive down the line. And a common harpy's feather duster. Holy crap, this is going to be a, an insane structure deck, people. I love it. Really, this, this is freaking unbelievable. Holy crap. For the effects that I do know about Trap Tricks, people, this box, this structure deck alone is a 10 out of 10, especially with its common charity cards. So, yeah, 10 out of 10 for me, 100%. And I'm sleeving up the hollow rares right now. Evenly match, I would 100% use. Regeki, 100%. And, of course, the Ash Blossoms. I'll be definitely be buying more of these structure decks when I do see them again. Hopefully cheaper somewhere else because to be honest when they first came out they were 11.99 and That's quite steep for a structure deck in the UK. So uh, yeah I'm gonna probably wait for them to drop to nine quid if I can find them somewhere in like a supermarket or something like that anyhow Speed your DX This set I love because it has the Ultra Beasts inside it And I love my Ultra Beasts and I, you guys know how much I love my Yu-Gi-Oh GX stuff I cannot wait to open this up. I wish I had a freaking knife somewhere with me, which I don't. That is a bummer because this tape is strong. Come on. Please open. Please open. Please open. Ah, rip the box. Fuck it. Never mind. Wow, I really did rip up that box. <laughs> Never mind. Like I said, I wasn't really planning on keeping this sealed anyhow, or protecting it anyhow. So either way, out of this box, you get yourself, uh, I think it's six decks, a load of playmats, which flipping hell, you don't really need to be honest people, bloody hell, you don't need that many. <laughs> and you get yourself your promos. We're going to save the promos for last. Let's see these structure decks. Oh, you know, all these decks and see what they all consist of. And we can easily try and figure out what they all, who they all are. By the look of it though, from the back here, so we get ourselves this dude, the vampire lady, we got ourselves um, Alexis Rose's brother, oh uh, god, Claudian if I would call them, um, Amazonis, and of course the mythical beasts. So let's have a looky. Ruthless Means, Forged Steel, Vampiric, Welcome to the Jungle, Archfiends, okay, Professor of Alchemy, Unlocking the Power, Fog Warning, Dark Unity, Dragon Force, she looks, what did that mouth do? What does that mouth do? <laughs> uh, you step on me. <laughs> but yeah, these are all, oh, there he is. Oh, yes, you guys know this guy. It's Christopher Walken. I like to do shit. <laughs> oh, Dark Creation. Okay, so that's cool. So, the not bad art uh, the skills. I will be reading the skills later on on my own. But let's see what the actual cards are. So, we got sort of the Dark Scorpions, which is nice. Fell Servants. Spirit of the Fell, really good card. First to cover, second, and the third. Wow, that's really good. That's actually really, really useful. Gagagigo. Uh, Dark World cards, okay. Jiu Jitsu Masters, The Arch Fiends, Lil Blub, really, really good card, people. Uh, Pitch Black Werewolf, Vampire Hunter, there you go, there's the um, um, Castlevania card right there. Aqua Spirit, Wind Spirit, oh, yay, we're finally getting them as commons. These used to be ultra rares back in the day, and you can't pull them anymore. Uh, Cloudian, Sh Sheep Cloud. Flare Wingman, Salmon, Armor Dragon, Cyber Dragon Altar, nice. Vampiric Koala, A Lord of Darkness, Book of Moon. Flash of the Forbidden Spell, really good card. Aqua Course, Chaos Trap Hole. Some of these cards are going to be very, very useful in actual tournaments. So if you guys don't care about Speed Jewel, it's perfectly fine because you can use Speed Jewel cards in normal Yu Gi Oh! So I'd definitely recommend buying these people to check them all out. This finally has got a reprint now, Vampire Ge Genesis, great card, Vampire Baby, Lady, Lord, Retainer, Sorcerer, Curse, Zombina, Zombie Goblin, 
Yeah, <laughs> Heaven Out of Flame, great card. Ryukoki, great card. Called Mummy, Book of Life. Foolish Burial. Vampire's Desire. Oh my god, great card. Amazon is Queen. Swordswoman, Tiger, Paladin, Chainmaster, Fighter, Trainee, Sage, Scout. Oh my god, we finally got Scouts. Okay, they definitely have pretty much powered up the Amazonist cards. Very much so. I am happy. Lining Archfiend, Archfiend Soldier. Great Archfiend cards to be honest though. I do miss these cards so much. I remember these being Super Rares and Ultra Rares and Secrets back in the day. Miss Archfiend was a Secret back in the day as well. He was an Ultra Rare, Archfiend General. Oh my god. God, oh, these are taking me way back in old school days. This is taking me way back. I love it. Here's the other cards. Again, this was like a super a seeker uh, slash ultra, if I remember. A displayed rider, DD servant, scout plane. Did he crow? What? Did he destroy her? What? Hardez? Tribe Shocking Virus? No way! These are some really strong cards. Cy Galaxy Cyclone as well! Microcosmos? What? Mad Reloader? The boys! Yeah, the boys are in! Look at that! Fucking hell, it's the narrator, Renrique and Josh Dub. <laughs> Two of them, okay. Goblin King, Grey Protector. Oh my god. Oh my god. Unending Nightmare as well. Oh, fucking. Are you kidding? As a common? What? No freaking way. Fucking was a freaking beast back in the day. And Wall of Disruption. Oh my god. We're not even done yet. And this is. This has been freaking awesome, people. These are some amazing cards. Whether you want to play Speed Jewel or not, they are so damn useful for common charity and normal playing. Spark my wild hearts. Wow, Inferno Prodigy. That was a very expensive card back in the day. Hades, Absorbing Jar, Dark Fusion, Finders of Common. Evil Mind as well. That would think that was the secret back in the day. Super Polly, yes. Malicious Fiend, Inferno Ring, Wind Cyclone, Dark Gear, Lightning Golem, Dark Dragon, Red Eyes, Ooh, Weaver, Metal Dragoons. Oh, Totem Dragon. That's a good card as well. Wow, this the, that this these decks are amazing. I can't wait to try and upgrade my speed jewel deck but also put them in the normal decks in my actual tournament decks as well like my freaking gate guardian deck will be so damn powerful but let's have a look what our look was from the secrets out of this box and there is some expensive secrets uh, speed jewel cards you'd want to pull out of this box and of course you do get yourself a guarantee of the three <coughs> mythical beasts so we got Uriah, oh, lord of searing flame Harlan, Lord of the Striking Thunder, and Raviel, Lord of Phantasm. Which one is my favourite? It's Raviel. Next one, <laughs> Armored Dragon level 10. Not bad card though, not too bad. Next one, ooh, Amazon is Queen. Okay, that's a good one. Next one, yeah, Vampire Hunter, let's go. It gets a secret. We get the Castlevania card. Hell yeah, it's a secret, love it. Let's go! Microcosmos as a secret. That is beautiful. Next one. Oh, my Genesis. Actually, that is super, super good. I think the most expensive one right there is definitely got to be Microcosm and probably the Vampire Hunter and Amazonas Queen. I think of the ones that I pulled. I think the most one definitely will be the Microcosmos because that is purely meta at the minute because of a lot of uh, banishing cards and everything it pretty much does stop it a lot so yeah i won't be surprised that a lot of people will pay silly silly money for a secret rare version of it 
just to bling it all out. <laughs> a lot of people do like that bling, if you know what I mean. But anyhow, out of, out of them three products that uh, I neglected for quite some time, I think um, I was quite happy to open them up. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Make sure you smash the like button, people. I know this was a weird video, but hell with it, I had to do something with these. I can't just open them up off camera and ruin like that. I, I opened up something that was extremely expensive and you guys can admit this thing. So, if you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Make sure you smash the like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Like I said, we're always trying to, trying to get to 30,000 subscribers. If you guys get that done, I'll be sharing all my body and removing every bit of my body with some hair and donating all the hair to charity for cancer patients. So if you guys want to make it happen, please do subscribe. And if you guys want to make it happen, please do subscribe. See you guys subscribe. See you guys next time. Cheers! Oh my god!